With the Admiral ready to steam up the Mississippi tomorrow, it might make the riverfront in front of the arch look a little neglected. Tom Dunn's Gateway Cruises is the only tourist attraction on the river right now. The McDonald's boat is gone, and now the Admiral will be at Laclede's Landing. But Dunn believes the Mississippi still has a certain allure. But that's what makes it unique. That's what makes it different than all the other attractions in the area is the fact that you're on the river, either a dockside facility, you see a lot of activity with towboats going by, and you're right below the National Park here with the Gateway Arch. Uh, it's a great location. Urban planners agree there is opportunity, but they say it takes a lot to make an area like the riverfront fertile for development. Like infrastructure and attractions nearby. If you're north of East Bridge today, with the Admiral moving, then that's where the commercial side of the riverfront, in my opinion, will be with good access, uh, the bridges, all that kind of thing, adjacent to land development, such as a landing in a riverside area that's compatible with water development. While Laclede's Landing will probably see a boost in activity, that doesn't mean things are going to dry up downstream. The Robert E. Lee is going to be opening shortly this spring, and which will be, everybody will be glad to see that boat return. We operate the Tom Sawyer and Becky Thatcher right below the arch here. And with the Admiral setting sail, there's a prime piece of property available now, literally on the water. In St. Louis, Gene Shepard, ABC 30 News.